on the aspect of the board, part 211, um, where it speaks to remuneration, I think we need to continue to note that aspect, um, whereby I would hope, and even though there will be oversight, I would hope that as we speak to the issue of remuneration, that it will involve those who in an authentic way should receive, because I can see there that on the board, especially the voting members are, um, I, I think if I'm right, and I look at it again, there are about three or so CEOs already who are already receiving a salary and uh, should be restricted insofar as uh, um, because they already are receiving a salary and perhaps some additional remuneration that they would not have to fit into this category. The long and short of it is that this is U.S. taxpayers' money, primarily, and there are legal requirements in the United States that put in place checks and balances that must be imposed on a receiving country of the grants. So whilst we may have pushed back, while we may have expressed our concern and continue to express our concern about the role of the MCC and their representatives, the fact is that their hands are tied by law. Ultimately, why one has to, in the public interest, accept it is because you have to pay a price, as Senator Perfit says, there is no free lunch. What the role of the MCC is designed to ensure is that there is value for money in the expenditure of the monies that are going to be uh, donated and the government counterpart contribution.